what you know, we're all going the same direction. Hello, everybody. We are riding along, riding along on my, on my automobile today. Yeah, y'all. <laughs> riding on the Ghoster. Oh, I missed half a ride because I forgot how to operate my helmet with the audio. Go figure. I'm getting too complicated for this old man. Got another bike coming my way. Ain't that cool? Another little scoot scoot. Yeah, scoot scoot. Doesn't know enough to wave. Yeah. This is the first time in a little while. Not long, but a little while. Since I've ridden your old goat goat. It's been a teeny wet bit. Not a whole long time. But anyway, first thing this morning I noticed that the uh, back brake isn't quite what she used to normally is. Which, I mean, uh, yeah, I got other, I got my front brake too. But uh, it's just having that oddball feeling, that oddball feeling, it, it, it throws you off a little bit, you know? So it's not a big deal though. Of course I know, at least I know they're grabbing. <laughs> Definitely are working. I guess not a good solid break like I'm used to. And I'll, t I'll be honest with you, I mean, the goat, yeah, for a little while there, it had good solid break, but it never had a true, true, hard, solid, really rock solid break. I'm used to it with my KZ 750. And I think there was, it, it had issues. It had issues all over the place. In fact, in fact, here within a few weeks, she should be finding a new home. I uh, have it shifting off to a new owner here. I just gotta get some parts gathered up for him. It's parts, it, it, I'm giving to him as a parts bike. And he's planning on basically rebuilding and putting another motor on and stuff. Not that good luck. It just ain't worth it to me, really. It really isn't. I'm pulling a motor for a bike that's an 82. Come on. Let alone finding one that'll work with that because most of the motors doing that year for that bike, well, actually, it's the 750 KLR, the KLR, the Kawasaki 750s, not the LTDs, but the 750 in general, they were shaft drive. A few of them were built, and uh, not a whole lot of them, a few of them were chain driven, less chain driven than, than the rest of them. I found that out after looking for another motor. I have the chain drive. I found, I could find the, the shaft drive all over the sticking place. I don't have a frame for a shaft drive or the rear the rear for a shaft drive. I mean, <laughs> I ain't building a shaft drive. In fact, I'm building a true, I wanted to build a true LTD. And you can say what you want, but uh, in 82, in early 80s actually, late 70s, early 80s, they, uh, the LTDs, held the speed record. But that bike had issues from the beginning. Had super issues. The previous owner just beat the tar out of it. It wasn't right, and I knew it wasn't quite right. I, I figured it'd be a first bike rebuilder, and I had it on the road for a very, very short period of time. I'm saying very short. <laughs> but at least I had it on the road to enjoy her as a first bike. 
and I've always had it in mind to uh, maybe get another motor or even turn it into a, a, a 550 or a 650 because they're basically all the same frame. If I, if, I mean, if that's what it takes to get her back on the road. At least the soul will still be there. You know what I mean? I'd still have the, 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 the telescopic front forks, which that one has. That has the front air shock, telescopic air shocks on it. Which I believe were changed out in some time down the road. Just like my rear shocks, I knew they were changed because they're not matching. But like I said, I'm, I, I found it a new home. I uh, getting rid of it as parts. It's missing the title, of course, because I actually gave it away once before. Told the guy, here's the title, because he was kind of itchy about it. He was supposed to come like a couple days later just to pick it up. He never showed up. <laughs> so he took the title and ran. So this guy might have issues getting it retitled. But I told him I would be willing, as the original owner, to state that the title, you know, title, whatever title is being used, if the guy is using it for another motorcycle, it's not legit. And that was a couple of years ago. I gave that bike away to that guy, so he's had plenty of time. By this time, it's gone over the value for storage. If you know what I'm talking about, I need it out of my garage. I want that room, and that room over on that side. It's actually right alongside my car when I pull in along the, road, along the wall there. And uh, I want to put my saws there. I've got a couple of saws I want to put in place there. That way I got to do is back my car up a little bit to uh, use my saw tables. For the small work, you know, for the itty bitty teeny weeny work. Boy, I love my goat. My goat. The brakes are back up to where it should be. I'm gonna then leave she had an air bubble. I'll check the fluid when I get home. I know it's got bright good fluid because I changed the fluid. I actually took in uh, changed out the reservoirs get in a year because the back one actually, actually had a small crack in it in the front one well it was hard kind of hard to get off because the screws were screwed up on it I'm leaving names out of who caused that originally but the screw heads are they didn't have the stock screws and there was wood screw, nice and one of them. And, uh, well, yeah. So what I ended up doing is buying another reservoir. It's actually, it works great. This one, had, this bike only has, if you're on our, if you're on our kale, like 650, you know this. This only has one front caliper. So it doesn't need a whole lot for braking for fluid. And that little sucker there is plenty big. So I'll go ahead and use that one instead. And it's blue. It matches the rest of the bike. And, it gets, and this one here has a little sight hole. A little sight so I can see if it, what, if it turns color or anything's wrong with it. But this one's also Mike. Wishing you all have a great day. Signing out everybody. Everybody, know somebody.